Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 6th of April. This on the daily chart here is my most conservative uh, count for the DAX and uh, there is some problems with it and we'll also we'll drill in and have a look at the intraday and we'll also have a look at the, the monthly and the weekly chart and the bigger picture and also a count that can take us much higher as well. So being the most conservative count here, well, I'd be looking at this as wave one here and two here and then three here and four here and then going up for wave five here. In going up for wave five here, looking at this as wave one and two here and then one and two here and then one, two, three, four, five, for the third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave for the third and the fourth here and then going up here for one and two and three and four and going up here for wave five here. Now we'll have to go to the intraday to um, to map that out a bit there but um, there will be a little bit further upside to, uh, to, to come for this here before turning over. Now this is my most conservative count. The thing that I don't like about this particular count is simply the length of of wave three here. So from wave two to wave three here, it's just not long enough. So from this length here for this being the, um, you know, that makes wave three can't be the shortest. And this length here coming in from wave four to wave five here is proving to be longer than wave two to three here. So this count is probably incorrect. Now it is this market is a little bit tricky to count. Um, all of this movement in through here has been, uh, well, I found it a little bit tricky anyway. And in, in setting all of this right at this particular point, so um, yeah. So what I'll do is we'll just we'll go. Well, based on this, we'll go in and we'll look at this here. I've also got a slightly different count uh, here as well um, for this section here. But we've got trades on here. So that's the most important thing at the moment. OK, and we'll once we've looked at the trade, then we can go back and have a look at the bigger picture. One of the things that <clears throat> um, that I think that's important to understand, no matter what the count is, if I bring the, the NASDAQ across here, and it doesn't matter if it's the NASDAQ or the S&P, but just the US markets. But for the US markets, we're looking here at, um, well, blue wave four here, one here, and two here, and three. So this is just giving you an idea of the time that we will still be in the bull market for this. Okay, so we've still got, um, you know, when we think about it, we're just really from this way four to way five here, we're just really sort of just halfway through or just over halfway through this. And you can see how many days this has taken through uh, here. This is a daily chart. So we've still got all this to go here. So if that's going to be bullish, you would imagine that the DAX is also going to be bullish in that period as well. So if that's going to be the case, then we're going to see the DAX much higher up here. You know, we're going to see another, you know, another month of of bullishness over in this corner over here. So, you know, that needs to be justified in some way. So first of all, just coming back to this, I believe this count here has served me well, um, but um, wave three here is just too short in terms of um, you know, the size of it, it's, it's got good form and it's big and all the rest of it, but it just hasn't given us the height. But that was okay as long as wave five was going to be shorter, but that's just not the case. Okay, so, um, but still, I'm just going to go in and we're just going to really sort of focus on our trades at this particular point here. So this is another count where I've got this as wave two here rather than wave four. Okay, so this one here, I kind of like this one here because it gives us a little bit more time in line with the US markets. And this one here will be wave one here and two here. And this is the one that we were looking at before Easter and wave three and four here and going up for wave five. And as I mentioned, that can go a little bit higher. We'll just need to look at that on the intraday. But that would give us, depending on how long wave four took us, um, we'll still have wave five and five here. So this this is kind of the next step up from the one that we've been looking at in, in that regard, you know. 
So we can still look for further movement to the upside, some sort of, you know, movement like this here. So that's kind of a better fit uh, in all of that. I, I guess, you know, because I don't know what the count is, as long as I stay with the intraday count in counting, you know, one and two and three and four and then counting five waves in here, because when we get to five waves here, we're going to have some type of correction. You know, will it come back to the wave four of one lesser degree? Well, this is something we'll just have to be a bit patient and and also work through as well and how how big will wave four be because wave two was complicated so wave four may be oh that's in that sense there isn't it this one here so yeah wave two here um, it's not too bad so wave four can spend a bit of time at the fifteen thousand, so to speak but anyway i'll just keep going in here i'm just sharing my my problems you know so so based on that we're looking at, um, when we spoke last time, we've had trades in here um, and we're looking to take profit between uh, 15,200 and 15,300. Uh, it's moved up past that and it'll go a little bit further up. But from wave four here to wave five here, we're looking, well, we can, that's kind of an easy one to see as wave one and two here. And then we would look at this as one and two here. Uh, and then moving up, well, that's even got more. I might just go to the tick chart if that's okay at this point because it gets a little bit tricky to count on the hourly chart for that. I'll just bring some more data in here for this. So I'll have to bring more in. Is that enough? Well, sort of enough. From this wave four here that we're looking at uh, here to wave five moving up here, well, we can see, we know that this is, I have confidence that that's wave one at that point. Let me just, um, so that's wave one. We can just move that out the way a little bit. And we're going to go back and have a look at the bigger picture in a moment as well on the, on the daily and the weekly and the monthly. And so I'm assuming, so I've got wave one and two here, right? So I'm thinking one and two and three and four here for one and, and two here. I'm thinking all of this has been going sideways here. So I'm just assuming that's wave four here for that, but I better just check. Yeah, no, that's okay. And then we're moving up here for this. So this wave four needs to be over here. And there should be another sort of thing here for wave five of three and then four and then five. So we're sort of looking at something like this here. So 15,500 would be a nice sort of target to the upside in this regard. Okay, so that's kind of bringing in that um, top area here for, for that. Okay. So that kind of, if I go back to um, the hourly chart uh, here for a bit. So we're looking at this going up a little bit higher through here. So I'm just copying this and putting this at 15.5 roughly. So it's got a little bit more to play out uh, in all of that before we get this um, ABC pattern over here for this check and back. So that's kind of where that sits. If I um, come back, let's just have a look at the monthly chart if that's okay, just shooting the breeze here. So there's a couple of things I want to talk about um, here as well is that where the DAX and the S&P drift away from each other is that with the S&P 500, if I can just get that over here and put that on the monthly chart. So in this case, we've got wave four sitting here, but on the S&P, we've got wave four sitting over here for that. Now, the DAX didn't make a new low below this wave four, but on the S&P 500, um, we can see quite clearly here that we've made a new low below here. 
<laughs> so we're looking at this as way four here for the for the S and P. So that's the first that's the first thing that sort of comes to mind that need requires a little bit of thought. It, it kind of makes sense to label this wave one and two here. The second thing here is that the COVID spike down through here has overlapped the top of wave one here. So if we consider this as going to be wave four here, then it's overlapped this. And it's something that we wouldn't see at this degree of structure. So there might be a case for, um, you know, putting wave four over here to start with. So this is just an issue in the bigger picture for, for all of this. One of the other things here too that I wanted to um, go down to was the quarterly chart here. I don't have it labelled, but I just wanted to point out um, as this is moving up here, we're getting diminishing volume in this trend. So it's just something to keep an eye on, not a, not a big deal. This last month volume was was uh, was high and was excellent. So in this case here, we can see that on this strong bar here that we've got this, um, you know, increasing volume here. So that's a really good, a really good sign. And obviously we've had the COVID situation and the, you know, uh, the, the DAX would have been sort of creeping up with the, you know, in line in value terms with the, um, the S&P and uh, the US markets having liquidity pumped into them, so to speak. Um but it's nice to see that volume come in there for the last last month in that regard. So this move up through here, this is the one that we need to sort of count uh, in, in a way. There's different ways we can look at it. Um, and this is what I wanted to look at uh, here. So this might be a little bit of a long shot here, but this move from the low here can be counted as wave one to this point here. Now, some people start throwing things at me with this particular count, but I think it's really important to have a look at negative counts and positive counts and, and try to come to some, you know, balanced view of, of, of everything. And, and if this one can count as one and two and three and four and five up here for one and two, um, and what we're also seeing here with this particular count, um, you know, we you know, with the vaccines coming coming online, they're taking a bit longer than expected in in most countries. Uh, it's a big job to vaccinate every you know most people. Um, but what we're actually seeing here is we're seeing we're seeing this market move off here. So if this was a if this was wave two to wave three here, we're starting to see a fair bit of power come into this here, aren't we? So um, I don't think this count you know. Uh, you know, we, we could play with it and look at it and, um, you know, and keep it in mind. Um, I think I've got this on a smaller time frame here as well here, just to give you a bit more detail on what I, the way that I viewed it here. So looking at this as way one and two here and then one and two here and then one and two here and then one and two and three and four and five just for the third wave and the fourth and then the fifth wave for the third. So it this has actually got the right look and feel about it. You know, is it true? I, I don't know, but um, it's just something that that I felt that should be put on the table and we can work through it in that regard. So uh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there'll be a lot to people say a lot about about that and it's impossible and, and all the rest of it. But, you know, I've been around since the early 80s and, and I've seen some impossible things happen. And for me, there's nothing too high and nothing too low. I just got to stay with the count. I just got to stay with the evidence all the time. And um, not to say that this is sort of any evidence here, but, you know, you'd have to say that this market is starting to step out a little bit, isn't it? You know, um, how, how does that compare with the, uh, the you know, the S&P 500 and so on and so on? Well, they've still got further to go up to the upside as well. Um, they're not they're not finished yet. So we'll see. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, share that count uh, and we'll have a look at uh, the FTSE next. 
So with the FTSE here, we've been looking at it as wave four here and wave one and two and three and four here. We know that wave four is overlapping wave one. I understand that. Um, but to me, it was just the best fit. And we just, we'll just suck that up for the time being. It may prove me wrong. And the only other way it could be would be one and two and one and two. So a much bigger and stronger move to the upside. So we could look at that. Um, at this stage here, we'll just leave it as it is because the FTSE's been quite lazy. Um, and we'll just continue to look at this climbing in this sequence here for this cycle at wave five here of wave five, a little bit higher up here. So there's more to go uh, here for, for, for this. I'll just check on the hourly chart for this. So yeah, everything's going sort of according to plan. I mean, technically speaking, but I wouldn't hold that. I wouldn't bank on it, um, anything with the FTSE, but we should be expecting a move. This wave three here should be longer than wave than wave one here, this wave three here. So we should see this further to the upside uh, in this. I'd expect it to move up higher, um, you know, up into this 7,000 area. So I'll leave that for that. Um, and the stock 50 as well. Um, I was thinking that we might pull this apart too, not today, um, and have a look at the monthly and so on with all of this um, shortly this week. Um, so one and two here, we've got a trade in here and we've held it through wave three and four here. Remember that the FTSE wave four overlapped wave one here, but as you can see, it's the best fit for, for those markets and then looking for wave five to the upside here. So we've hit 4,000 uh, now, so we're gonna be sort of sticking around there. We've got a couple of other trades in here. I'm moving the stop up to this point here. If you want to take part profit here, that's fine. I think there's a little bit more to go in this. I think there's, um, I need to spend a bit of time on it, but I think there's wave four and wave five to play out here. And then we'll have a, a corrective move in this space here. So there is a bit more upside uh, to be had here, but I'll leave that up to you. You can either just follow it up a little bit closer, but markets find it a little bit difficult at times to leave large numbers, you know? Um, so, but yeah, um, that's got one, two, three, four, five. So it's got another little high in here to go. Just double check this. A little bit dodgy in here. It's not a bad fit. We'd counted all of that before there. So anyway, that's where we are with the stock 50. So this has been a really nice trade um, from the beginning of March uh, here uh, all the way up. So, so a nice, uh, nice little profit there for that. And I'll leave it at that. Alrighty. Um, Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.